Here's a question that could literally keep you awake all night. How many stars are there in the universe? On a clear evening in the desert, without a telescope, we can see about 5,000 individual stars. All of them are located in the Milky Way, a fairly typical spiral galaxy with a stellar population somewhere between 100 billion and 400 billion stars. And the Milky Way is just a speck in the observable universe, where estimates range from 100 billion to perhaps as many as 2 trillion total galaxies. Now, let's do the math. Using conservative estimates, we'll multiply 100 billion galaxies times 10 billion stars per galaxy. The product is a whopping 1 billion trillion stars. And remember, that's a low-end estimation. To appreciate a number that large, we need some context. So let's try this. There are roughly 135,000 grains in one cubic inch of sand, and about 235 million in a cubic foot. While exact measurements are nearly impossible to determine, geographers estimate there are approximately 220,000 miles of coastline and 6 million square miles of sand desert on the surface of our planet. Using estimates like these, researchers at the University of Hawaii have calculated that in all the deserts and beaches of the world, there are something like 7.5 times 10 to the 18th power, or more than 7 billion billion individual grains of sand. Again, an estimate like this is an educated guess. So to make some allowance for the difficulty of actually counting sand, let's increase the Hawaiian calculation by a factor of 10. Now that'll build you a lot of castles, but it's only a fraction of the total number of stars. Because when we compare the estimates of total sand to total stars, the stars outnumber the sand grains by at least 10 to 1. But that may not be the most amazing part of this story. You see, a single grain of sand, four one-hundredths of an inch in diameter, contains approximately 500 billion billion individual atoms. That's more atoms in one grain than total grains of sand on the Earth, or stars in a billion Milky Way galaxies. Okay, before we power down our calculators, here's a final dose of big numbers. In a single drop of water, there are about 1.7 billion trillion individual H2O molecules. That means, in just a few large drops, the total number of molecules could exceed the total number of stars in the entire universe. So, what's our takeaway from these mathematical excursions into the basic structure of creation? Well, for starters, we live on a planet that's part of a cosmos unimaginably large and complex. And that planet is filled with countless atomic and molecular universes, inconceivably small and often even more complex. And each of these physical realms, gigantic or microscopic, is held together every second of every hour of every day by the God who created everything. Remember that next time you're searching for scarab beetles in the Sahara Desert, or camping in South America under the breathtaking glow of the Milky Way.
or just hanging out in the backyard, watching your wet dog launch 10,000 liquid universes on a summer afternoon. <laughs>